Okay, so today I need to take a little bit of a break from actually adding features and stuff because I need to go back and fix some issues stemming most primarily from the inability to build on certain platforms. Shared uh, Linux and then Windows and Mac OS are just right out. Um, and I've, I've got to fix stuff. I've got, I got to fix stuff before I go on and doing more feature type work. need a st stable base to be able to put unstable stuff on top if it's unstable at the beginning whatever i gotta fix it so starting with that uh the first thing i'm going to be doing is linux since i'm on here already and for sh statics fine right yeah the statics are fine it's the shared ones <clears throat> so the intertarget dependency graph has these two so photo resource and photo resource yaml are in very closely uh tied right now so let's recreate that. Um, dash D build shared libs equals on. Actually, no, turn it off. Hit clean. And then we'll uh, on again. Yes, so we got a problem with the. Let's close that up. Nope, nope. Mm, okay, here we are. So he, this guy's using photo resource YAML, and the YAML library is using that as well. Okay, so if I was to remove the dependency here, <coughs> uh, which one? Photo resource. Get rid of that. What happens? Okay, let's see at what point it breaks. Hmm. <laughs> Noise. Okay. Okay. It's because of this image loading. Hmm. I'm not entirely. <clears throat> Sure, as to how to deal with this, actually. Hmm. Okay. What do you think about this? Uh, these loaders are dependent on okay these are guys are all using yaml directly is there any other like what was i going to do i was probably going to have two loaders a loader for yaml a loader for binary i would only include the yaml loader for code with as part of the editor versions which means the tech, I should be able to move these editor edit blah, 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 these editor editors. God damn, can I English? Move these editors to the YAML library, really, right? And then I have a separate one for binary, because hmm, who who actually includes like image loader? If I go back down here, image loader, mm -hmm. like who has image loader? Who actually? Um, hmm. Oh. 
Well, that'd be because... Why? A reference. Uh, when we're doing load, I need that. That that's that's it. That's the only thing I need from him, and for unloading too, I should say. Right. Otherwise, it would just be a a name. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm thinking of moving these loaders to the sub library then. Except for having like a very basic. Hmm. Um. Hmm. There's no actual Vulcan specific stuff. It's all generic. Oh, no, no, there it is. It does indeed have Vulcan specific stuff. I don't want to have like <laughs> multiple loaders. I, I, I only want to have loaders based on the import export file type or the import export um, flow workflow. However, it's doing it. I don't want to have also another multiplier on top of that based on the graphics API. Okay, but it's only really the upload stuff. That's kind of, yeah, yeah. And that'll probably be more generic as time goes on. Hmm. Yep, okay. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create midget loader. We're going to have these two functions. Start upload, process upload. This will have to be like protected, wouldn't it? Um, what is it? It's start upload. Okay. Process upload does not require is does not have to be. It's really start upload is the only function that needs to be Yeah, it'd be the only f only function that needs to be pulled in or forwarded. I, I, yeah. image loader for resource yaml image 
damage loader, we do that. like an override capability if there's an override capability that means i would have to load both binary and then the yaml on top of that oh no I'll think of that later. I'll honestly have to think about that later. I got enough problems. Protected. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. Who? What else does this guy need to know? Protected. Basically, all this would have to be. Oof. Nope, I wouldn't. I just need that. And M active uploads. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe not. Okay, you know what? Protected for the moment while I figure out exactly what I need. So public is basically the same thing. Virtual that. All right. Private for this, which will be final. Okay. So, um, that's not public. It's private, and the only reason I had access to that was because these have like a friend for that. Ooh, yeah, okay. I need to come back and figure, okay. Where's my notepad? This is, uh, Getting to be quite a lot of items. Uh, we got that. We moved those. Okay. What do I need to do? Um, uh, 
Publicize resources. Uh, we're back on this train again. We do image loader, image first. Oh my god. Now I need these. Where's error code? There it is. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do right. I'm going to move this into just the public side. Okay. I hate myself, but. Source error code, great. And in here, I should be able to get it from get it from that. That's some stuff there. I need to get the. I need a log type. I'm going to have a new one called Lofo Resource YAML. Yep, amazing. Separate that out from that. Okay. Okay, just do that. Just make sure that this builds. Then I'll throw it over to the other side. Now, this is because of that. Okay, where do I get these guys from? From this. 
Nope, 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 nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, go away, go away. Okay, what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to do the error code moving around. That, that's all we're staging from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Public, public, we know. Must be, do they don't have to be exported? It must be. Publicly available headers, we'll move them around. So that's A stage. Now, moving back to, because yeah, what was this? This was just, yeah, these things again. Actually, just kind of leave that, like that for the moment. Okay, we had image loader from here. And then we'll have to do the same thing for what else we got. Next will be material loader. If, if we also have these here, then we don't need to have these publicly, public YAML functions either. We can fold them into the just loader and leave it like that. Probably. Probably. Hmm. Okay, load resource is the one function that we really need. Pretty sure. I ain't happy. I ain't happy with my solution, actually, at all. Hmm. Roll back the clock. Hold on. Roll back the clock. What exactly am I doing? It's just around this... This one, uh... 
thing. It's either YAML or binary. It's this one line. Why am I doing all this effort for this one line? I don't need to. Hold on. Undo the last commit. Doesn't have to be that anymore. No, 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 no. These guys can all be returned to the same state they just had a moment ago. Thank you very much. If I do this, make dash J, it's fine. It's fine. It's golden again. I need, a, I need a way better idea solution for this. Because I'm not going to do all of that just for one line. Which should be interchangeable. Or change. Uh, I can change it out as required later. All I'm getting out of it is a file name, a string. Whether it was YAML or binary, it's that's still what I'm getting back out. Okay, what if, this is a standalone free function, so, hmm, this is a function that's not really called very often at all either. Hmm. Okay. It's a faux image p star image. Oh no, it takes in a string view and a string. And okay. I can do this in a slightly less moronic way, I think. So what I'm going to do is much like this, much like this. We're going to have a standard <laughs> function. Well, let's just pass it in. I'm just going to pass it in. I'm going to just. Um, um, data function import. I'll call it that. And has to be passed in as part of this. Go back to image loader. Initialization, right? There you are. V. 
this detaches it from that. Very much so. That. Okay, so I need to move this <clears throat> into the application. Whoops. Like that. So he needs to have it. And when we're calling this, we're going to put this is going to be, okay, move this to the left a bit. Close that up. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong function entirely. You're the one. Okay. Get rid of that. So no longer have that. Yeah, so it's still off. The new one with this, does, does this work? That's the great question. Yes, it does. Okay, this is a bit more sensible than what I was going to do at first. I don't like it still, but it's a lot better than what I was doing first, uh, first round. So I'll just stick with it for the moment for the rest of these. So, material loader, let's do it here. Oh, that's a fine function definition. That's massive. I'll have to change it to like a construct, create info, construct info, return, rather than all of these guys. Soon. Find the declaration of this. We need these. Do that. Do that. 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 Bam. All that. That's all. Standard function of that, import function. to that check that oh not quite too few arguments to call yes um, This also keeps the loader actually separated from... Yeah, yeah, this is actually a pretty good pattern. I can expand upon it. I think I'll stick with it. I'll have to refine it a little bit, but I'm still going to be pretty happy with it. I can see how I can expand it. I'm sure it's no longer, like, the function's no longer um, directly there anymore, but then it also allows me to swap out which function it does call. Okay, next, shader loader.
Hmm. Okay. Not great, but port function. Okay, we'll pull that out. This error code has no purpose whatsoever right now. We're still good, right? Okay. Uh, that just leaves vertex descriptor lo loader. The sub resource struct. Oof. Ah, another one of these large ones. Perfect. I adore terrible ideas. Red equals that. I don't. I don't even have the uh, proper reading stuff here. Sorry. What do you? Oh. Okay, I should no longer require that here. Almost. Almost. Okay. Uh, does the at least the root application pull it in? Resource YAML. Okay. Actually, no. Hold on. Turn it off. Then run make clean. Then back on.
Okay. It's looking good. So that should at least solve the uh, shared library version issues. I just have to worry about Windows and uh, Mac OS then. Okay. So, uh, what do we got to do? Voice resource YAML is already there. That's the easiest not to do with this. Image loader, you guys. And you. Except template um, function pointers. hierarchy Building shared binaries. Oh, do 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 do. Resource loaders. Okay, put that up, see how that builds, and then I'll come back for uh, Windows and Mac OS issues in a second when I grab a drink. Okay, so that's actually looking pretty okay right there. I got all the lit uh, Unix, Linux ones up, but Windows and Mac OS are still down. So <clears throat> let's have a look at what this uh, says. Okay, it was probably down here somewhere. Oh, uh, warnings. Error, here we go. Uh, subscript requires array or pointer type. Mm. Unload request list. So it uses undefined class, array, a vector of data. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let me spin up <clears throat> Windows VM and see what we can do. Okay. CLS, put this up, maximize that up, come on, full screen it, there we go. <clears throat> okay, um, uh, it's not great, is it? I must have updated the compiler then, okay. Ugh. No, 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 no. This is what I really care about right now. Thank you very much. So we'll go until we hit the error again. What's this? 
Macro can only be used with library. Uh, resource lips IMAX. I'm sorry. I still have this? I guess I do. Okay, well, whatever. I go up to the top there. Let's see, make stuff. Yeah, I don't see it here. Um. Warning, warning. Warning, warning. Where's the error? You, there you are. Wait, is it? Hold on. Are you erroring out on linking? What? Hold on. Move it aside. What's going on? Do I do I actually still have that there? I thought I got rid of that. Photo resource libs YAML. Where on earth are you? Get oh, let me guess. This is an old version of the resource. Oh no. Okay. Uh, branch dash D resources. It must be an old version of the resources. Because if I go here, <coughs> it's still oh, what? Oh, I didn't fetch it first. Okay. There we go. Oh, yes. Ninja. FD build shared. Oops, equals off. For the moment, let's just work on static. Wow, real, real professional self, just working on an old branch, not fetching, not pulling, just assuming that the one that was here from forever ago is the right one. Okay. Single thread, what's the first one that comes up with errors? Okay. Error. Here we go, this guy. What's going on? Is it missing like atomic? Okay. Array and vector. Is is that it? I, I just not include a couple of mm, looks like it. Who else is missing it? No one. Fix that while we're here. I presume this is the same issue on the Mac OS then as well. Okay. Okay, hold on. 
Uh, we have missing symbols for sub resources for material. Sub resources. Unresolved external. Faux materials and faux. Okay. <clears throat> So, you're only caring about this one and this one. Is it because, like, in image, it's, like, exported or something? Or it just doesn't exist. That's why. Okay, what if I just export this one then, eh? Hmm? And it doesn't exist for this guy, but it does exist for this. So that's something I'm going to, have to look into the sub resource nonsense. Hmm. Okay. Did I just not declare it then? then? Is that what I did? No. Or um, material sub resource. Mm hmm. The material sub resources that. Fool being me trying to use C plus plus in a useful manner. Um, like that works. Exporting the entire struct doesn't work, and all the symbols that's out of it, no. But exporting that does. Okay, hold on. It's like... Um... No, it does work. Okay. Do the same thing here. I guess... Okay, 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 okay. Um, so I'll fix that. Mm -hmm. Minor issues with Windows builds. It was the image loader class, right? Yeah.
Okay, throw that up. See what happens. Do, do, do. Let's see in a moment. Okay, so Linux is still going. Windows is going okay. At least Static's passed. What about the shared? Oh, it's still downloading. Okay, what's going on with the Mac OS at least? That's just a failure. Um, oh, I don't have the library on it. Okay, well, let me fix that uh, right now in a jiffy. Okay, uh, blue search. Image. If we install free image, that should have be done in a second. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'll be back once reruns with the free. Oh, that yeah, it is installed. Do do do. Already installed and up to date. Really? Well, that's not good. Uh, okay. That probably means I need to do some uh, funky nonsense to first of all. Pull the changes from Windows. And then, 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 I'm going to need. How do I do this? Okay, right now I'm using it here. So we'll um, definition, declaration, definition, dependencies. We'll do, what is it? Find file. Free image includers. We're looking for the free image. H, I think it is. Yes. We'll otherwise use find library. I cause just I don't know why, but just can't find stuff on Mac OS without help. Libraries. It's called what? Just called free image. If this dash not found, or this one not found. We'll get file name component. Include directory. So this will allow us to get just the actual directory instead of just the file itself. No mark is advanced. So I don't have to doesn't um Clutter up the C, C make GUI UI. So it's this one and this one.
CMake um, Nikki uh, search. Okay. Throw that up. See what happens. Actually, I should have tested it first. Oh, okay. Well, I'll find out in a second, anyways. Okay. Otherwise, what else do we get? Uh, okay. Windows Clang did not. Finish why DLL export cannot um, be applied to a deleted function. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Where is this faux search paths? Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> That's a one I haven't seen before, admittedly. Deleted functions. Put that up as well. Let's see what comes out of that. Oh, yes. Mac OS is back on. Um, hmm. All right. <clears throat> so I think I'll probably call it there once. These ones that come through. What's happening? There's still one behind. Yeah. Fuck, I'm just overloading my poor little computer. I still only have one Windows Builder? Uh-oh. Oh, no, this was... Um, for the DLL export failures, yeah. Wait, it's still on that? Oh no, it's moving forward now. Okay. Just the wait. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Unfortunately, these tests have taken a while. Bring it up. What's going on? I'm going to bet it's this... No, two seconds. 24 seconds for that one. Okay, it's two seconds is no problem. 24 seconds is a bit much, but what's going on with this one? Hmm, it's just slow reporting. But 24 seconds for that ECS test is also a little much. What I can probably, probably do, have a quick look at that, see exactly why. I'm going to assume it's, this is, doesn't even have anything. It's index generator. I'm presuming it's because it's running through literally all the values. Starting at zero. It's just running through all of them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can uh, speed this up by saying like uh, test dot in import state, right? I say the next is, is like this minus let's say ten thousand. That seems fairly reasonable. 
An empty set of recyclables. I should speed this test up significantly. Rather than 24 seconds, it should take barely any time at all. Should be another one, right? There you are. Okay, maybe maybe not then. <laughs> Great. Oh, I starting at yeah. Okay, hold on. Nope, that didn't help it at all. Why? Mm -hmm. I starts at that value. Is that it? 166. If I start at one below. No, that wouldn't. Actually, no, I can do zero. Okay, hold on. Let me back this up. Jeez. <clears throat> I thought I'd be able to do this. Not very good, apparently, at it. So. Add to that. Uh, nope, don't actually run that. That's not the one I wanted.
Apparently, I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go to the debug. Test foe. ECS YAML. What is this value? This is index so two six eight four three. Uh, so it ends four five 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 four five five. And right now, test dot generate. I'm two below. So I have to go three. to do four I'm confused as to why this would be required why do I have to go through four okay three I'm going zero to three Okay, now it actually does make sense. Starting at minus two, I want to go up two, and then I run out. Yeah, okay, that does make sense. Yeah, now it takes basically no time at all. I can work with that. So, actually, I could probably do something even better. I can do like minus 10,000, right? If it's two, then I, I got to add one. So if I do 10,000, then I need to do that to 10,001. Rather than um,
Let's test acceptable. Okay. Put that up and this window. I think my Windows one is frozen on this. Stuck. All right. Well, I guess I'll call it there. An hour and 17 minutes worth of fixes and slight improvements. At least it's working across all the platforms again. So I can actually start doing feature work again without having this eating away at the back of my mind. All right. Cheers.